I found a camera in a drawer. It was some camera that my parents won from points they collected. It had this crazy macro lens and I started taking pictures of my dad's flower garden. And then when I moved to Toronto, I had my first smartphone. Everywhere I went, I just started taking pictures. And that was really what I think was the thing that changed my life. Just being able to have a way of capturing everything I saw. I guess eight years ago, my cousin asked me if I'd heard of Instagram. And I thought at the time that it was just one another app that had different filters. It was sort of the first time that I could see the rest of the world from the eyes of people like me. And it was such a community back then, and I started meeting people and talking, and then people would say, you're on that app so much, you should try and make it into a job. And I would thought, how could it possibly be a job? And then I noticed friends of mine were being invited to go places to take pictures and post them. I got invited to go to Alberta, and that was where it started. That was my first trip. At that point, I hadn't really traveled very much. I never thought that it would be something I'd be able to do on a regular basis. It hasn't really stopped for eight years. I just went for it. Even though I travel all over the place, I'm always happy to come home. I always feel most at home here in Ottawa. It's one of my favorite places to come. I love promoting it here. I find it stunning here. I love walking around the market and the Glebe. There's some great neighborhoods here to take pictures of too. And it reminds me of old times. There's still like Mrs. Tiggy Winkles was here when I was here. I think it's, it, the seasons really inspire me as the seasons change from one to the next, even though it happens the same every year. That's why I love Canada. Every year it's just as new as it was the year before. And I find myself, once the seasons change, inspired all over again to start taking pictures of a new time.